Hello and welcome to Old Dog New Trails, uh, the channel where we try to live up to at least one of the two things in our name. So today I do have the old dog. Hey Zoe, say hello. But um, we're not on a new trail exactly. Uh, although I haven't shown you folks this place before, I come here all the time. Um, the last two videos I put up were um, waterfront parks along the Hudson. I've been going to waterfront parks this week because we've had a lot of rain and the trails are really muddy. The All Trails app tells me that all the trails are muddy. And so I've been coming to the waterfront park so that Zoe and I can get our miles in and uh, walk on you know, paved and gravel trails and not muddy backwoods trails. And having gone to um, Croton Point and Dennings Point, uh, which are north and south of the town where I live, you know, uh, respectively, uh, we decided to just come to our local Peekskill Waterfront Park. Um, and uh, there's a lovely river walk here and uh, lots of sculptures and other dogs for Zoe to say hello to and um, gravel and paved trails where we're not going to get all muddy. So, um, I wish there were snow on the ground. I wish we were hiking in the mountains and snow, but there's no snow. It's just wet and muddy and there's been a lot of rain and Zoe can't wait to get out of this car. So I won't bore you with any more yapping. Let's go see Peekskill Waterfront Park. Um, I'm wearing a, another phone because I'm also making a time-lapse with my old phone while I walk through here talking to you on my more late model phone. So uh, we're trying something new here today. Um, see how that goes. So it's the, uh, the end of January and I'm by the waterfront where it's usually cold and windy. There's a light breeze. It's 54 degrees in January in New York. And here comes the train. So I think we'll be hearing the train a lot in this video because we're walking around the waterfront park where the train is. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about the waterfront park. Come on, Zoe. Park has quite a few sculptures around. This one's called Jorward by Christian Corday. Launching Ball by John O. Peak Skill Dragonfly by Mark Andreas. I think this one may be my favorite. Pretty sure that the hats are seasonal. This one's called Tides by Emil Alzamora. This is another one I like a whole lot. It's called Time Sharing by Dan Padmas. Um, can't really get it all in the shot this close, but there's some interesting symbolism and meaning behind this one. So I'm gonna come back over to the plaque. Uh, this steel sculpture in the form of a house is positioned as though rolled ashore, the first step on its way inland. Steel was used by Dutch settlers in the production of stoves, pots, pans, plows, and other equipment. The house is not stable since it's balancing awkwardly on a steel roll bar. Titled the time sharing, the work refers to the Native American approach to property ownership. 
Land and space are a gift giving to all humanity, the sole property of no one. I really like this one. I like the way it looks, I like its meaning. It reminds me a lot of the big sculptures that they have over at the Dia uh, in Beacon. And uh, maybe we'll make a trip there on one of our videos someday. So it's not exactly a hike. But uh, yeah, I really like that one, that one's cool. And it's worth mentioning that uh, there was once a foundry nearby here. And so you find a lot of this, uh, I think they call it slag or whatever. It's a byproduct of uh, the uh, foundry. So it's all along this beef here, along with driftwood and sadly a bunch of trash. Hey, but some kids find it fun to play in, so cool. This one's called the Golden Mean. to another dimension. It's a portal to the beyond. Beyond by Basha Ruth Nelson. I think I forgot to tell you who the last one was by, but I guess it was on the plaque. Almost all the river towns up and down the Hudson have a 9-11 memorial of some kind. And, uh, that's some fine, fine work there. Most of the river towns also got a piece of the World Trade Center. So here's our local piece. I gotta say that this, uh, this park is very nicely landscaped, uh, especially coming in the spring and summer. You, you see lots of nice flowers around here. And, uh, it's a beautiful park. This one's fun too. We'll go inside there in a minute. Planetarium Momentarium. Is that how you say that? Planetarium Momentarium by Serge Onan, or Onan. There's kaleidoscopes and foreign money in there, which is kind of neat. Let's check it out. There's graffiti too. So yeah, inside here, there is quite an interesting acoustic environment to be sure. I'm sure it sounds different on the video than outside, at least out of the wind anyway. And then there's like, kind of like kaleidoscope things in here. Um, it's pretty cool. They don't turn. Maybe they once did. It's like weird little logos in there. It's kind of fun. And then there's also in addition to the graffiti, there's all this foreign money. If we look, we can probably find uh, money from all different countries. Zoe had no interest in staying in here. She's trying to get out. So I'm, uh, I'm not gonna linger in here too long. She wants to keep walking. There's probably a dog that she wants to go meet. Let's see, let's see what's up. Where are we going, Zoe? Come on, where are you going? You wanna go this way? All right, we'll go this way. Oh, cause you see doggies. Yeah, that's what it is. She sees those doggies. Yeah, they're excited too. So the old phone I had around my neck to get a time lapse has already had the battery die. So uh, the time lapse will not continue from this point forward, unfortunately. But, uh, there are a few more pieces of art to observe along the river walk here. So we'll come to those in a moment. It's such a nice day. All right, this one is tall. It's titled Ark by William Logan. So the paved river walk trail goes along uh, this path here next to the marina. Look at them just 
soaring like that's gorgeous. Okay, Zoe, come on. I'm not sure why Zoe's in such a hurry now that we're on this uh, walkway. Maybe because that man is running. I'm not sure. She's just tugging and tugging. Nice spot. Here there's a uh, spot with a view. Travis Cove Overlook. There's a tanker out there. And the Bear Mountain Bridge. the little walkway we were just on over there. This one is Liquid Mechanics by Wilfred Morrill. I guess this one's been here a while longer. It's from 96. It's pretty cool. Now the river walk passes this industrial facility, whatever it is. I think it's a sheetrock factory or something. Picturesque beauty juxtapositioned against industrial ugliness. If you look closely over that hill, you can just see the top of uh, Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant, which is uh, just south of Peekskill in uh, Montrose Buchanan. And uh, yeah, you can see one of the tops of the, whatever that thing is, reactor, whatever. I'm not sure, but I think this walk kind of ends here at the Charles Point Marina. So this last little bit of it is not terribly scenic. I love this. That's just a great doorway. Okay, so I had not come farther than this before. It does look like this keeps going. So uh, today we will keep going too. I know that Old Dog New Sidewalk doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Old Dog New Trails, but um, we just came to another waterfront park, and uh, I haven't been to this part of the river walk before, so it is Old Dog, it is New Sidewalk Trail. Let's see where it leads. I suspect it'll lead me over there. So the sidewalk I was on sort of came to a dead end, and I'm not really sure how to proceed from here, but uh, I'm just going to explore the woods here for a minute, I think. I really don't know where else to go. It seems like the river walk just kind of ended. I was all excited when I saw this sign for Tropiano Trail, and then I noticed this other sign that says no dogs allowed. That's a bummer. Flying party horns. Music plus youth equals dot 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 sine wave. Okay. So this is the little 
spot where uh, I said that the path ends and there were some folks hanging out over there. So I didn't go to the tip of this walk here, but this seems to be where the trail ends. Certainly a nice view from here. Well, but for that. <laughs> Okay, time for a little more yapping. Um, I've gotten to the point in this path trail uh, on the river walk where it, it just sort of stops. There's a bench here that I'm sitting on and uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about some plans for the future. Um, I'm gonna be taking some trips and I wanna bring you along. So uh, the first trip I'm gonna take is um, just in a couple of weeks. I'm going to see my mom in Florida. Um, she's still not back in her house. If you're a regular viewer, you know I went down there because her home was flooded. Um, and it's, it's not fixed yet. It could be a year or more before they fix it. So, um, but she finally got a place to stay. It, it's taken FEMA until now and literally months to find her a place to stay. Uh, but she's got an apartment, so now uh, now she can actually have a guest. Because <laughs> until now, she's been a guest in places where she's been staying. Um, and uh, I'm going to go see her in Florida. And then there's more travel uh, coming up. And so I'm going to keep that travel a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I also want to thank all of the new subscribers and... Um, ask that if you're not a subscriber but you like the idea of uh, seeing the places I go and hearing me yap a little bit then uh, hit that subscribe button hit that notification button if you like it like it uh, yeah I'm still trying to build this channel so uh, I appreciate your help I appreciate you being here uh, I won't bore you with the rest of this river walk going back the same direction that we just came because I'm basically just doubling back now. So I will say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to all my subscribers and uh, tune in next week where I hope to have some videos that are not just our local parks. Although, you know, if you like the local park thing, yeah, I could, I could visit every river park up and down the Hudson for you. So let me know in the comments if you want that and maybe I'll try to do that. I've got 40 videos up and I think I've had one comment. So who's out there? Who, who are you? Anyway, thank you again and uh, see you next week. Well, or you'll see me next week. I, I, I won't actually see you unless you comment. So see me next week. <laughs> <laughs>